Heyo duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this is the update to Move Transition. Exceldro has been smashing it out of the park, adding updates to all these plugins, left, right, and center, and this is just the cherry on top. This is creating different typing effects inside of OBS, no other scripts, just using Move Transition plugin. Let's get into it, I'll show you how to get it all working, all right? Play Rock of the Stone, let's go. So slight disclaimer, I am filming this before the plugin is out, but we're just gonna download it from the OBS website here. I will leave the link in the description. It's probably gonna be 2.5.2, or I don't really know what it's gonna be, but it's not gonna be 2.5.1, because the updates can be added in there. So you're just gonna hit download, get it all downloaded. I usually recommend using the installer, but for some reason, if you're struggling, then download the manual file. And once you've downloaded the manual file, you can open it up and you'll have data and OBS plugins folders. We're just gonna copy both of them um, just here and then we're gonna go to where your OBS is installed. So that's usually in C drive and then in program files, all program files 86 and it's just OBS-Studio, all lowercase, and just directly paste them in there and then press replace files. That If you've already got it installed, it's gonna ask you to replace files. Make sure OBS is shut when you are doing this, okay? Otherwise it probably won't install it correctly or restart it, all that jazz. Uh, and once you've got that installed, you'll be able to open up OBS. So let's fire up OBS. I've got a blank, kind of blank OBS just here. And to get this to work, all we need to do is create a new source. So we're going to create a text GDI source. And you can call what it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as text GDI. That's fine. Press OK. And we can obviously change all the font and everything. I'm going to change it to the one and only font for Silverlink because he loves it. I'm going to make the font size a little bit smaller, press OK. And obviously, if I type in uh, typing text in here, you can see we've got the source working. You obviously, change all your settings. That's completely up to you. We're not here for that. So I'm going to zoom out and press OK. So to get this filter working, we need to add it. So we're going to press on the source we're going to be doing it to. And this only works with text sources, OK? So you can either press filters there or right click and press filters. And we're going to add an effect filter. The effect filter we're going to add is a move value filter just here. And we can call it whatever we want. I'm going to call this uh, type in text. You can call it whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Press OK. And if you guys have seen my other tutorials on move um, transition, you will notice all these are pretty much exactly the same uh, on all of them. It's the same layout, same features, but we need to make sure we select the right one. So move value allows you to use different filters and manipulate the values, but we don't want to use a filter. We just want to use the actual source. So we're going to use move value type and we're going to go to type in. You should see that option just there. And then we're going to go to settings and select text because we want to manipulate the actual text that are in this source. So not a filter, just the text. So the text we're going to type is I'm going to do, uh, this is a test does it work and I'll type that in there or we could press get value and that will whatever's currently in that source it will pull it across I'll show you that next uh, the duration this is how long you want it to take to type out so I'm going to say it's going to take two seconds so 2000 milliseconds and I'm going to turn easing off otherwise it's going to ease into it and ease out or um, basically if I change it to two seconds it's going to take two seconds to just run the whole thing um evened out perfectly so once that's done all i have to do to start this is press the i and it types it out just like so because i had text in there already it actually deleted the text that was in there previously so as i said a second ago if i type some text into here and just go silver link do you like this font like this so we've added some text into this text source just here what i can do is actually pull that by pressing get value like so so when i press type in text it's going to wipe that out and put in my new one just there that was a really loud beep <laughs> and you can do this for all sorts of different things changing the 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 uh, duration everything like that but if i create another one of these so another move value filter and i can do this uh, reset text and press ok what I can do here is have this reset automatically to empty this form just here. So if I want the same thing to animate on and then stop and then animate on, 
the reset. So I'm going to change the single setting to type in. I'm going to go to uh, text because we're going to modify the text and we're going to just leave it as blank. So now when I press this, it's going to just reset the text to blank like so. But I want it to do it instantly. So I'm going to change this to 10 milliseconds, turn easing off. And that is it, all ready to go. So the typing text, the only thing that I need to do now is do next move and say reset text. So now when I press type in text, it's gonna type it out, silver link, do you like this font? And then it's gonna turn off straight away. So I can add in a little bit of a delay at the end and get it to stay on screen for say two seconds as well. So now when I press type in text, gonna type it out, take two seconds, and then reset it and I can keep pressing that as much as I want and then you can obviously use you use different tools like streaming bot Leoran board all that kind of thing to to manipulate the value in that filter so it can type completely different things i am actually using this on the upcoming uh, Final Fantasy 7 welcome message type thing uh, and you can use that on there so that's a great example that I'm going to be releasing so you guys can see that if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below all that kind of jazz you know where I am and obviously if you want to support me then consider joining Patreon or the channel members down below here on YouTube. It does help me a massive amount, alright? So, you know where I am, put your rock over the stone, I'll see you in the next one. Much love! I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends, thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up guys.